Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use the Jack Magic Stain Identification Kit in your pool to see what type of metal stain you have. Okay, the kit comes with three packs of Jack's Magic Stain Cleaning Solutions. Solution one is the iron cobalt spot etching stuff. Solution two is the copper and scale. And solution three is the O2 Safe Shock. I'm going to briefly go over what we're going to do in each step, and then I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it in a pool. I'm going to do each spot separately. So we're going to first start with solution one. We're going to put it on one spot in the pool. You're going to put half the packet of this on one spot. Let it set for 30 to 45 seconds, and we'll brush it away. Next thing we're going to do is another spot after we do the first one. We're going to use one third of the solution two on a spot. Then we're going to brush it away. We're going to use the third spot. We're going to use the O2 Safe Shock on it, solution three. You want to leave it on there for 30 to 45 seconds and brush it away. After you brush that away, you want to put one third of solution two right on top of that spot where you had put the O2 Shock. Leave it on there for a few seconds and see if it removes the stain. The final test, we're going to put the remainder one third of the copper and scale stuff on the spot. You want to brush it away after 30 or 45 seconds, and then you're going to pour solution one right over it. Let it set for 30 or 45 seconds, brush that away, and see how the stain looks after that. You can also enhance your test results by pouring a few ounces of Jack's sequestering agent, the purple stuff, the magenta, or the blue stuff in the area you're going to test, or just pour a little bit of muric acid before you run the test in the test area. On the back of the package, it gives you the parameters for a successful test. Okay, for this test to be successful, the chemistry needs to be in range. So the cyanuric acid needs to be below 70. This one here is actually actually below 30, or roughly around there. And your pH and alkalinity need to be in range also. I'm going to run a test for this stain right here in this pool. It's just right here on this shallow end and on the step area of the pool. Before they built this retaining wall, they had a big rainstorm and a lot of mud and dirt washed into the pool and then the stain formed. You can do a 3 inch tablet test on it to see if it comes off. It may be organic. So you can see that I rubbed the tablet on there. It's been a few minutes. It had no effect on the stain at all. Okay, you want to make sure you turn the pump off and let the water settle for a little bit. If you can't reach the stain, I have actually some on the steps here which I can reach which is good. If you can't reach it, you want to with some of the product in a nylon sock and drop it on there. Let's start here with solution one which is the iron cobalt etching stuff. Apply half the packet over a stained area right here on the step. Got a set for 30 to 45 seconds. A third of it right here on this spot here, a little further from the other spot. I'm going to let it stand for 30 seconds. That was the first test area. The second test area is right here. Let me brush that away. We're going to take solution 3, which is the O2 shock. You pour it right here. So here's the O2 shock in a different area. After you brush the O2 shock away, you want to go ahead and pour one third of the packet of solution two over that spot. See if it has any effect on the stain. I brush that away. Let me. I'm definitely doing something here. It looks like it's bubbling or fizzing. Okay, and the last test we're going to do is we're going to test solution 1 and 2 together on the same exact spot. I have a spot right here. I'm going to go ahead and go into the spot here. And I'm going to go ahead and pour solution 2 there. And let it set there again. Then after that's done, I'm going to go ahead and brush that away. And I'm going to go ahead and pour solution 1 right on that spot and see which one worked better. I'll tell you right now, just by looking at the stain, that some of it was lifted by that one. But I'll go ahead and finish off the test. So solution one, the iron and cobalt spot etching stuff, didn't do much with the stain. The copper and scale stuff actually took a lot of the staining off here in this area. And actually where I poured the initial sample number two, took the whole spot off right there. 